Six signs. Your kidneys are crying for help. The kidneys play a crucial role in filtering waste and excess fluids from the blood, regulating electrolyte balance, and maintaining overall fluid balance in the body. Did you know? According to the University of California at San Francisco, nearly 750,000 patients per year in the United States, and an estimated 2 million patients worldwide, are affected by kidney failure. One common myth about unhealthy kidneys is that symptoms always manifest early and are easily noticeable. In reality, kidney disease often progresses silently, with symptoms appearing only in later stages when significant damage has already occurred. This misconception can lead to delayed diagnosis and treatment, potentially exacerbating the condition. Early detection through regular checkups and screening tests is crucial for managing kidney health effectively. Failing kidneys may result in inabilities such as decreased filtration, fluid and electrolyte imbalance, acid-base imbalance, anemia, bone and mineral disorders, high blood pressure, impaired excretion of waste products, and reduced kidney function. However, you can stop the decline of your kidneys and improve your kidney health by observing the following signs. Watch until number six, as it is a shocking and frightening indication of unhealthy kidneys. Here are six signs of unhealthy kidneys. Number one, changes in urination, A. An increase in the frequency of urination, particularly during the night, may indicate kidney dysfunction. B. Feeling a strong and sudden urge to urinate even when the bladder is not full. C. Frequent urination, kidney connection. In kidney disease, the kidneys may not effectively regulate fluid balance, increasing urine production and frequency. D. Urgency to urinate. Kidney dysfunction can contribute to changes in urinary urgency due to alterations in fluid balance and electrolyte regulation. G. Nocturia, nighttime urination. In kidney disease, impaired fluid balance can lead to excess fluid being processed by the kidneys, resulting in increased urine production and nocturia. H. Polyuria, excessive urination. Kidney dysfunction can contribute to polyuria by affecting the kidney's ability to concentrate urine and regulate fluid balance. E. oliguria, reduced urine output. In kidney disease, a decrease in urine output may result from decreased filtration and impaired excretion of waste products. J. Painful urination, dysuria. Kidney stones or infections that affect the kidneys may lead to pain or discomfort during urination. Number two, blood in urine, hematuria. The presence of blood in the urine can be a sign of kidney problems. The urine may appear pink, red, or brown, indicating bleeding in the urinary tract, and may indicate various underlying health issues, including problems with the kidneys. Here's an elaboration on blood in urine and its potential relation to kidney health. Types of hematuria, A, gross hematuria. This is when blood in the urine is visible to the naked eye, giving the urine a pink, red, or brown color. B. Microscopic hematuria. In this case, the blood is not visible to the naked eye, but it can be detected under a microscope during a urinalysis. Possible causes of hematuria. A. Urinary tract infections, UTIs. Infections in the urinary tract, including the kidneys, can lead to inflammation and bleeding. B. Kidney stones. The passage of kidney stones through the urinary tract can cause damage to the tissues and result in bleeding. C. Kidney infections. Infections affecting the kidneys, such as pyelonephritis, can lead to hematuria. D. Glomerulonephritis, inflammation of the glomeruli, tiny filters in the kidneys, can cause blood to leak into the urine. Kidney-related causes of hematuria. A. Glomerular diseases. Conditions affecting the glomeruli, such as glomerulonephritis or IgA nephropathy, can lead to hematuria. B. Polycystic kidney disease, PKD. In PKD, cysts in the kidneys can cause bleeding and contribute to hematuria. C. Kidney cancer. Tumors in the kidneys may lead to bleeding and blood in the urine. Evaluation and diagnosis. When blood in the urine is detected, a healthcare professional may conduct various tests, including urinalysis, blood tests, and imaging studies, such as ultrasound, Connecticut scans, or MRI, to identify the underlying cause. A kidney biopsy may be performed in certain cases to assess kidney tissue directly. 
treatment. Treatment depends on the underlying cause of hematuria. For example, antibiotics may be prescribed for a UTI, while procedures or medications may be recommended for kidney stones. Chronic conditions affecting the kidneys may require ongoing management and monitoring. Seeking medical attention. If you notice blood in your urine, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional promptly. While some causes of hematuria may be relatively benign, others can be more serious and require timely intervention. Number three, fatigue and weakness. Unexplained fatigue and weakness can result from anemia, which is common in individuals with kidney disease. The kidneys play a role in the production of red blood cells and the regulation of hemoglobin. Fatigue and weakness are common symptoms that may be associated with kidney dysfunction, particularly in the context of chronic kidney disease, CKD, or acute kidney injury, AKI. Here's an elaboration on how fatigue and weakness may relate to unhealthy kidneys. A. Anemia. One of the common causes of fatigue in individuals with kidney disease is anemia. The kidneys play a crucial role in the production of erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates the production of red blood cells in the bone marrow. In kidney disease, reduced production of erythropoietin can lead to anemia, resulting in decreased oxygen delivery to tissues and fatigue. B. The buildup of toxins. Healthy kidneys filter waste products and toxins from the blood, excreting them in the urine. In kidney dysfunction, there may be a buildup of these waste products in the bloodstream. This accumulation can lead to a feeling of overall malaise, weakness, and fatigue. C. Electrolyte imbalances. The kidneys help regulate the balance of electrolytes, such as potassium and sodium, in the body. Kidney dysfunction can disrupt these balances potentially leading to weakness and fatigue. D. Fluid retention. Unhealthy kidneys may not efficiently regulate fluid balance, leading to fluid retention and swelling, edema. This can contribute to feelings of lethargy and weakness. E. Uremic syndrome. In advanced stages of kidney disease, a condition known as uremic syndrome may develop. This syndrome is characterized by the accumulation of urea and other waste products in the blood leading to symptoms such as weakness, fatigue, nausea, and overall decline in well-being. F. Decreased appetite and nutrition. Kidney dysfunction can affect appetite and nutritional status. Individuals with kidney disease may experience a decreased desire to eat, which can contribute to weakness and fatigue due to insufficient calorie and nutrient intake. G. Comorbid conditions. Kidney disease often coexists with other health conditions such as diabetes and hypertension. These conditions can also contribute to fatigue and weakness, independently of kidney dysfunction. H. Treatment and Management Managing fatigue and weakness associated with kidney dysfunction involves addressing the underlying kidney condition. Treatment may include medications to control blood pressure, manage anemia, and improve kidney function. Dietary modifications such as restricting certain nutrients may be recommended to manage symptoms and slow the progression of kidney disease. I. Regular monitoring. Individuals with kidney disease should undergo regular monitoring of their kidney function and overall health. Monitoring allows for early detection of complications and timely intervention. Did you know that a sign of your kidneys failing could be something as extreme as your skin changing in appearance? Let's jump into numbers 4, 5, and 6 and understand the frightening signs of failing kidneys. Number 4. Changes in skin color and tone. A. Pale skin or a yellowish tint jaundice may be indicative of a buildup of waste products in the blood due to impaired kidney function. Changes in skin color and tone can be associated with kidney dysfunction, particularly in advanced stages of kidney disease. Here's an elaboration on how changes in skin color may relate to unhealthy kidneys. B. Jaundice. Yellowing of the skin. In cases where kidney disease is advanced, the kidneys may not effectively filter and excrete bilirubin, a yellow pigment produced during the breakdown of red blood cells. Bilirubin buildup in the bloodstream can lead to jaundice, a condition characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes. C. Uremic frost. In severe cases of kidney failure, a condition known as uremic frost may occur. Uremic frost is characterized by the deposit of urea crystals on the skin, giving it a powdery appearance. 
This condition is rare, but can be a sign of advanced kidney dysfunction. D. Pale or ashen skin. Anemia, a common complication of kidney disease, can result in a pale or ashen appearance of the skin. Anemia occurs when the kidneys do not produce enough erythropoietin, a hormone that stimulates red blood cell production. Reduced red blood cells can lead to decreased oxygen delivery to the tissues, affecting skin color. E. Dry and itchy skin. Kidney dysfunction can lead to imbalances in minerals and electrolytes, including calcium and phosphorus. These imbalances, coupled with decreased production of vitamin D by the kidneys, can contribute to dry and itchy skin. F. Easy bruising. Impaired kidney function may result in a decrease in platelets or altered platelet function. Platelets are essential for blood clotting, and their dysfunction can lead to easy bruising. G. Capillary damage. The accumulation of waste products in the bloodstream due to kidney dysfunction can contribute to damage to small blood vessels, capillaries in the skin. This can affect skin color and contribute to the appearance of vascular abnormalities. H. Assessment and diagnosis. Changes in skin color and tone are often symptoms of advanced kidney disease. Healthcare professionals will conduct a thorough assessment, including blood tests and imaging studies, to evaluate kidney function and identify the underlying cause. I. Treatment and management. Management of changes in skin color associated with kidney disease involves addressing the underlying kidney condition. Treatment may include medications to manage symptoms, dietary modifications, and interventions to slow the progression of kidney disease. J. Symptom management. Specific interventions, such as moisturizers for dry skin or medications to relieve itching, may be recommended to manage skin-related symptoms associated with kidney dysfunction. Number 5. High blood pressure, hypertension. Failing kidneys can contribute to the development or worsening of high blood pressure. The kidneys play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure by controlling the balance of fluids and electrolytes in the body. When kidney function declines, this balance may be disrupted, leading to increased blood pressure. Additionally, the presence of kidney disease can activate hormonal systems that raise blood pressure, further exacerbating the condition. High blood pressure often has no obvious symptoms in its early stages, making it a silent but significant risk factor for kidney damage. Hypertension as a cause of kidney disease. A. High blood pressure can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys over time, impairing their ability to filter waste products and regulate fluid balance effectively. This condition is known as hypertensive nephropathy or hypertensive kidney disease. B. The increased pressure within the blood vessels of the kidneys can lead to glomerular damage, reducing the kidneys' filtration capacity. This can result in proteinuria, the presence of excess protein in the urine, and eventually contribute to chronic kidney disease, CKD, or even kidney failure. Kidney disease exacerbating hypertension. A. Conversely, failing kidneys can contribute to the development or worsening of hypertension through various mechanisms. B. The kidneys play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure by controlling fluid balance, electrolyte levels, and the production of hormones like renin and aldosterone. When kidney function declines, these regulatory mechanisms become impaired, leading to fluid retention, electrolyte imbalances, and increased blood pressure. C. Decreased renal function can also disrupt the balance of sodium and potassium in the body which can further contribute to hypertension. D. In addition, as kidney function declines, the kidneys may produce higher levels of renin, a hormone that can raise blood pressure by constricting blood vessels and stimulating the production of aldosterone, a hormone that promotes sodium and water retention. Treatment Implications A. Managing hypertension is crucial in preserving kidney function and slowing the progression of kidney disease. This often involves lifestyle modifications, such as dietary changes, weight management, and regular exercise, and medication to lower blood pressure. B. Conversely, managing kidney disease through measures like controlling blood sugar levels, in cases of diabetes, reducing protein intake, and managing other risk factors can help alleviate the burden on the kidneys and may contribute to better blood pressure control. C. Some medications used to treat hypertension, such as angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE inhibitors, and angiotensin-2 receptor blockers, 
ARBs, have the added benefit of protecting kidney function and are commonly prescribed in individuals with both hypertension and kidney disease. Number 6. Metallic taste in the mouth or ammonia breath odor. The buildup of waste products in the bloodstream, such as urea and ammonia, due to impaired kidney function, can lead to unusual tastes or odors in the mouth. Some people with failing kidneys report experiencing a persistent metallic taste in their mouth or noticing an unpleasant odor resembling ammonia on their breath. These symptoms may develop gradually and may not be immediately recognized as related to kidney health, but they can serve as warning signs of underlying kidney problems and should prompt further evaluation by a healthcare provider. A. Metallic taste in the mouth. This symptom can arise due to the accumulation of waste products in the bloodstream, such as urea, which the kidneys would typically filter out. When these waste products build up, they can alter the composition of saliva, leading to a metallic taste in the mouth. Additionally, electrolyte imbalances commonly seen in kidney failure can contribute to alterations in taste perception. Patients often describe this taste as similar to blood, coins, or metal. It's usually persistent and may worsen over time as kidney function continues to decline. B. Ammonia breath odor. When kidneys fail to effectively eliminate waste products like urea from the bloodstream, urea can be broken down into ammonia by bacteria in the gastrointestinal tract. The resulting ammonia can be absorbed into the bloodstream and exhaled through the lungs, leading to a distinct ammonia-like odor on the breath. This odor is typically described as pungent, strong, and unpleasant. It's important to note that while kidney failure is a common cause of ammonia breath odor, other conditions, such as liver disease or certain metabolic disorders, can also lead to similar symptoms. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and click the like button. See you in the next video.